Hey, Polly here. Looking through this Harbor Freight catalog because <clears throat> I recently used a coupon in here, and you already know what it is just by the title name of this video. <clears throat> I wanted to wait until this coupon showed up on in the catalog of uh, the 13 horse 420cc Predator engine. And you can see it's $319.99 instead of the $359, whatever, $99, $90, whatever. And uh, finally showed up in the October catalog. So I figured I'd scrape a little, some pennies together and go out and get this engine. Funny thing is, I just got the November catalog and it's in there again. I've been waiting for it to show up in the catalog for a while, and it hasn't been in there for a while. So. <clears throat> Let's get to the end, and you're going to see me do a little unboxing, and hopefully it'll start. Yes, the 420. Now, this model number, 60349, I got it because the numbers are greater. Um, 19.8 foot-pounds at 2,500 RPMs, and maximum RPM is 3,600 RPMs. Those numbers are greater than the one that's on the... the um, item number that ends in four zero so I got this one some people say it's a Hemi I don't know this is open the box and yes I'm wearing my Jethro Bodine sweatpants so uh, those are running out here get these straps off So here we are, we got the instructions. Got some, looks like jets and a bowl gasket. Some foam. And there is the engine. Why do I have this engine? I don't know. I just wanted it. I wanted one of these Harbor Freight 13 horse 420cc engines. I've been wanting one for a long time. Packed pretty nicely. Not really much else to show you in here. Just uh, yeah, it's got the little spark plug wrench shaft. It looks like it has the key on there. And I gotta get this out of the box. So let me do that. This thing is a lot bigger than I thought it was. I'm so used to looking at that 212. This 420 is. It is pretty big. All right, let's get some oil and fuel in here. It says fill gas here, which is that, and then add engine oil below. I'm just so happy this thing has a starter. And I'm going to add engine oil right down there. First, I'll remove that key off the shaft as well as that diagram there so engine oil 1.16 quart 1 16th quart they say 10 to be 30 I got some of that
and I'll do a break in period with this oil to be drained. This is a the Motocraft, of course, it's Ford synthetic 10W30 synthetic blend. Here goes one quart. Kind of nice uh, and easy having the engine tilted like this. I'm going to turn this engine a couple times. Let's get this oil moved around in there. If she will let me. So now we'll put some gas in. Pretty big gas tank. Not like the 212 by any means. Turn the gas on. Turn on the choke. Now let's get her started. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this thing. This engine is beautiful. Weighs 73 pounds. It's economical. Um, it's got a one inch shaft on there. The gas tank is over a gallon in capacity. 1.7 I think. Um, yeah, 1.7 gallons. Really nice and quiet. I didn't think it would be that quiet. I think 212 is makes more noise than this 420. Now, back to the question of where is it going? It's either going more than likely onto the Hydro Track 12 Sears, or it could go onto Resurrected. Um, Resurrected. I don't know, it's kind of a backup motor, more than anything. It's not going on anything right away. I'm going to do the break-in period with it sitting on that little mount as you... It's not bolted down yet, but it will be. I'm going to just run it on there as required, change the oil on there, and then mount it on something need be whenever that is. But I'll just keep it running until I need it. Call me crazy, but that's how I'm doing it. All right, until next time, I'm Paul. I'm out.